I splurged quite a bit because um, I had some money left over from my birthday, from Christmas, from all sorts. So I've just gone a little bit mad on Jackson's, got some goodies that I really wanted and some bits that I've just always wanted to try. So let's get this thing cracked open and see how bananas I've gone. Unfortunately, the box came a little bit beat up and you can actually get inside the box. So I'm hoping that things haven't come out. Um, hopefully not. So hopefully they're all there. If not, I'm sure Jackson's all sorted out if there are some bits missing. They're very good like that. So let's just get it open to be honest with you because i've ordered that much i can't even remember what i ordered i know like the big main thing which was the golden so flat collection because if you've not watched that video i'll leave a link in the cards for you to go and watch it of course but um i love that paint so it's only just been launched in the uk so perfect time for me to order from jackson's So, first up, Karandash Gouache Studio. These are the tubes. I just wanted to give these a try. They're more of the traditional gouache as opposed to acrylic gouache. I believe so, but then on some descriptions they say they're poster paint, which to me is that really cheap sort of childish paint that you get. So, but that might be just the European way of saying flat um non-sheen paint so i just wanted to get some plus i think these were on offer as well when i when i purchased them so yay then we got some karen dash um luminance pencils uh, um, i'm not a huge pencil person but these were on offer and i thought let's just try get one set with some colors that you know you're going to use for architecture um <clears throat> And just see how we go with them because I've had a couple of samples in Art Snacks boxes and they are really creamy, really nice to work with and blend beautifully, which is what's always put me off wax pencils, so I've never bothered with them. But I thought we'd just get a small set and see how we go with them. And then we've got some more Karen Dash, but these are the Museum Aquarel, so they're their um, watercolour pencils. And I got the Landscape Assortment as well as the marine assortment as well so we've got both of those um, these melt like butter they are so smooth you don't really have to work too hard which is great because it doesn't make the paper pile or you know buckle or anything so they just melt with so little water they're so good so i really like those um, i have a full set of dough and ink, ink tents which i love using in my sketchbook etc um, but they're permanent once they're wet, so I wanted to see if these were similar or if you could re-wet them as well. Um, and plus my ink tent set, set is getting very, very small. So these are to sort of not replace the ink tents, but just give a different, uh, a different option to the ink tents. And then if I prefer these, then obviously I might stick with these, but... Um, next time I get some spare pennies I'll probably replace my ink tents with ink tents so I just wanted to have a little difference and try something new um, then we've got Karen Dash um, skin tones and earth assortment because I love my pastel pencils from Karen Dash they're so vibrant um, so I wanted to get some more but they are very expensive so expensive um, but this set was on offer, so I've got those. And you get some other bits in here, like the gaff stone and a charcoal pencil and um, a blending stump and a putty rubber sandpaper and things. So you get some other ways of using these. So you get a couple of... What is it? What is it? What is it? We get five pastel pencils and then five of the pastel cubes that I use quite a bit as well. So... 
give those a go. Then the other Karen Dash thing, I swear it's not all Karen Dash, um, is this graphite line, um, which again was on offer, um, which is the multi techniques water soluble set. Um, and I believe it's just, let's open this up. Yeah, it's just one big tin full of a lot of different goodies. So I've got some graphite cubes in there, RGB, um, pencil, sharpener, pencil, um, water brush, and then you've got the different pencils under here. So we'll have a play with them. I might do a separate video just for this little set actually, because it's quite, well, I'm thinking it's quite cool for what I'm going to use it for. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get that. I mean, if there's any of these sets or things you want me to swatch out on video, um, or do a separate video for, let me know in the comments and I will try and do that for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the next bits. Um, let's do a little box. What's in here? What's... I forgot about these. Yes, 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 yes. These are by Sminky. Um, they're the granulation watercolours. Now, as you guys, uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm not a huge watercolourist at all. I'm not very good at it. But I've discovered these granulation sort of paints, which give you texture straight from the tube. And I'm like, they look really interesting. So I've decided to get quite a few of these to give them a go and see how I like them. Hey, it might even make me be want to do more watercolouring. Um, just put packaging on the floor. Um, what's in here? Yes, going back to I'm not a watercolorist. <laughs> I've got a watercolor tin. Um, this is for all the tubes, the granulation tubes that I've bought, which is just an empty palette for me to use with tubes. I think this is for the smaller tubes though, yeah. It's not for the bigger tubes. I'll show you that in a second. Um, let me see if I can work out. Is it that one? Is it that one? It might be this one. <laughs> to see how the smaller tubes fit in there. So, um, the granulation tubes come in the sets of like forest, tundra, marine. Yeah, these are the ones. So I got two separate colours from the Glacier set, which is the um, Glacier Green, which has got like a brown tint to it, which to me goes like the um, how copper goes. It goes that colour when it goes green, I forgot the name of the thing. Uh, and then I got a Galaxy Brown from the Galaxy set, but I wasn't interested in the other colours. But... I do use a lot of greens in sort of browns and creams and neutrals. So that's why I went ahead and got the uh, Tundra set and the Forest set. And these have got a lot of um, browns and creams. And obviously the Forest set have got a lot of greens and bluey greens. So these are super cute little boxes. Oh, look how good these little tubes are. What is it with small things? But yeah, you can see the small. So these are 5 mil, and I think these are 15 mil. Yeah, clearly says that in two very big things. So yeah, I'll be able to put all of those in there, no problem. And keep them a little bit better than the cardboard box I'll keep. So yeah, do, 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 do. And that's the big one, and then that's the tundra, 
I will open this one. This one, this one, this one. Also with a sminky granulation, um, Daniel Smith do their own, I believe, called their Mineral Marvels, and these are just, I think they're just the dot cards, because I didn't want to spend even more money, um, so I just thought I'd get the dot cards to try out, and just probably pick up one or two colours that I might really like, so I'll give those a whirl. And then I got a sminky um, aqua um, um, Lindo Rock, but it's basically Lino um, paint. Sorry, German people. I'm sorry. Yeah, I butcher your language. I know I do. Um, but these are their water um, line printing inks. Um, I usually use Cranfield oil, but they're such a pain in the ass to clean, so <laughs> um, I wanted to give their water ones a go because the other only other water ones I've got are like the SD ones and I don't think, I'm not getting quite the right effect that I want with them, so I thought I'd give these guys a go and see what they're like. Okay. <gasps> yes, we have got my main reason, my main, main, main reason for ordering from Jackson's, and that is the So Flat Acrylics. Um, I've got a Burnt Sienna, a Phalo Green Blue Shade. <clears throat> Oi! A Mars Yellow Deep and a Pale Yellow. I've got more colours, just you wait. <laughs> and then I've got a dark green a cerulean blue hue, a red, red oxide, I love this color, I don't know what it is with this color but I do use it a lot, um, and cadmium yellow medium. Now they don't advertise these as gouache, as acrylic gouache, they do advertise them just as a matte acrylic as you can see there. Um, So I'm going to do a separate video comparing these to the Liquitex acrylic gouache because people say that the Liqu Liquitex acrylic gouache is not actually gouache. They say it's just a flat matte acrylic. So I think here I've got one that um, claims to be a uh, matte acrylic. So I'm going to do a separate video comparing those two um, because I really like using both. But it'll be nice to see side by side how they... Uh, match up to how I use them so that will be in a separate video then we have this one ah and then these are the two sets so these are the only sets that the so flat golden come in and one is called Zing, which has got the cadmium orange, red, vel red velvet, red violet, yellow green, nafal pink, um, I can't pronounce that, yellow, another yellow, uh, cobalt teal. And then the other set is the pop set, 
and that has got a black, a titanium white, permanent green, a nifl red light, a cadmium primrose, and an ultramarine blue. So I've got 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 new colours to play with. Um, but usually I only go for the colours that I know I'm going to use. But the Zing set, I really wanted to get some colours that were going to pop but not fl fluorescence because I don't use them too much. So Anyway. Oh, one last thing. Let's get rid of this big box. And then we got some paper. Okay, so first up, I got some more acrylic block. Um, I love this paper. It is very good. Um, I love using it for the Liquitex acrylic gouache and also for watercolours as well. It works quite well with watercolours because I like a more of a hot press surface than um, a cold press. So this kind of works as that, but it's like a medium in between cold press and hot press for watercolours. So I like using it for that. But I've almost run out. That's how much I like using it. So I've had to buy another block. Um, there's 12, 15 sheets and it's only £7. For this whole thing so super good value for money then the next surface i got was this blue toned rembrandt um, paper which says it's good for drawing pastel acrylic squash ink and charcoal um, i'm going to open this up because i'm hoping that the blue is actually that color blue i wanted a really light blue um whereas some of the other tone papers when they say they're blue they're like a really sort of muddy almost can barely pass through a blue sort of tone so i'm hoping it's exactly what it says on the tin as ron seal would say but on the packaging There's 50 sheets in here as well, so this hopefully will last me a long, long, long time. Uh, ooh. It, it, it's not far off from what the front one is. It is an actual blue blue. I can't tell what... The thing is, though, the paper feels like, I don't know if you have it in the States, but in the UK, we have something what we call sugar paper, um, which you use to give to your kids that, to cut up and make shapes and things. It sort of feels like that, but I mean, it's quite thin as well. But we'll see how it holds up to all of these things that it says it can use. So we'll give that a go. That's the, this is the A3 size as well, and there's 50 sheets, so there is a lot in there for me to use. But the idea about getting a blue one is for when I'm doing buildings and things, I don't have to worry about colouring in this guy. Um, and also building up the colours on a blue tone as well. And I can just add clouds, um, because when you've drawn a building, <laughs> for me it's very nerve-wracking of them filling in the sky because then the colour might run onto the building you've just spent hours doing. So I've eliminated that fear in just being able to have the blue as the background anyway. Um, but yeah, that's just my little fear. Um, but yeah, that, believe it or not, is it for this thing. Um, there are a couple of things missing. I know there's a couple of bits that should be in the box that are not in the box. So. I'll have to contact Jackson's about that, but I don't think it's not Jackson's fault. It's it's obviously what happened in the delivery post. Um, but yeah, uh, as I said before, if there's anything you want to see me on um, swatch or do a separate video on um, that's not the so flat, because I'm definitely going to do a so flat one anyway. Um, let me know in the comments below, and I will try and do that for you guys. 
Um, if you want to try any of these products yourself, by all means do so. Um, I do have a link at the bottom of the description that will give you 10% off your first order. Um, so feel free to use that code um, to get 10% off your first order if you want to give any of these a go as well. Um, I'm trying to like arrange these so I can take a thumbnail <laughs> picture and it's like there's too much there's too much I tell you and let me know if you guys use any of this stuff and you know give me some tips and things of how to use because I buy this stuff to experiment with because I'm still like finding what my favorite media mediums are like I know the soul flat I love but I still want to just sort of like mix and match things so I'm, this is why I'm still buying things and sort of finding my way I suppose okay so it's been a couple of days after I filmed the bit you just watched and I've received the items wait that was missing from the main box Jackson's really good about it fantastic customer service I have to admit when it comes to Jackson's Yeah. Okay, so I'll start with these. Um, as I've said many times in, in videos, I'm not a huge watercolorist. But I've decided to just dabble a little bit so I've gone ahead and got the sminky um, watercolors dot cards there's 140 colors so I can pick and choose what colors I want to use rather than picking up some colors and then realizing actually I don't want those just to try out it comes like oh oh that's an interesting sheet it's like a plastic binder thing so we've got a lot a lot of colors on here I don't know how many colors sminky do um, but I'm guessing there's at least 140 hence is on here and there's some golds and some silvers and greens and everything on here so it's gonna be nice to try these out um, I really like that color up there I'm always drawn to my greens. I don't know what it is. Greens and neutrals. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to try those out. Pop that there so I don't don't stick together. In we go. Then I also got some um, Yupo paper. Um, I do already have some of the heavy one. Um, that is such strange paper, but I kind of like it, but I can't quite work out what to use it for either. But I just wanted to see what the other ones were like. So in this one, we have Yupo, Yupo translucent. Um, this is in the Newpo medium and Newpo heavy. So, ah, I see, I see. So this is the heavy one. So it's three hundred ninety GSM. Um, I already have that in a pad. Um, and then the other one is two hundred and twenty GSM. And then this one is transparent, and it's one hundred and fifty three grams. So we can get some interesting effects with that. But you can use watercolour on these. You can use gouache. You can use practically anything. It's just it's such a slick surface. So it doesn't um, absorb any of the paint or anything. So like I say, it's, for me, it, it's a curiosity. But it's a curiosity I like. I just don't know how to apply anything. Well, not apply anything, but just sort of how to use utilize it is what is what is what I want to say so at the moment it's very much experimentation for me but I like it then I've got some different watercolor papers 
Um, I've got the Canson Heritage um, Cold Press Fine Grain. And then this is the Rough Grain. Because um, some of the uh, granulation pigments paints that I got from Sminke, um, apparently they work better on rough paper. I've just realised that the logo is actually printed on there. So I just wanted to see what the difference was between them. Then I've also got the golden product catalogue because I do quite like their open things. So I just wanted to see what else they had. And this is like Tempe, so it's nothing really. And then the other thing that was Tempe that was shocking because the Sminky Dot card, that is £27 in 40 pence, I think. And then Golden Acrylic have their own hand painted but it's not a dot card because obviously it's acrylic so you, you can't wet them and use them um, but this was only 10p so you know <laughs> what's the dealio but yeah look at these colors these are so nice so so nice i'm assuming somewhere it will say what's available in the open and the other stuff that they do but again, for the greens and the blues and the purples, I quite like purples as well. Uh, I really like this light pay uh, fellow green. Ooh, that's a nice yellow shade. Anyway, so I'll get distracted by colours. Um, yeah, so they tell me the pigment names, um, the chemical description. I don't understand all of that yet anyway. But I'm assuming these are... Hang on. So heavy body is that symbol, fluid and open is the dark one. So yeah, that's available in my open, which is great. Okay. Good, 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 good. Just pop that back there. Um, then I also got some other paper, which is the Legion. Um, it comes in this midi pa mini pad set it just worked out better just to get it like this especially for me using as samples and then oh these are so cute i was not expecting them to be this small but that is just look at that isn't that just cute <laughs> anyway okay so we've got some black cold press oh i like this because i've got some um rembrandt black watercolor paper but the pattern on it is very linear um whereas this is more like watercolor paper whereas literally you get stripes on the rembrandt one so that's why i was curious to try the black one so i've got four three little pads of that one then we've got the um cold press heavy um what's this compared to the canson so that's the really rough i'd say it's on par with their fine grain um, but I think this is heavy because it is, wow, that is so thick. It is literally like a piece of card. Um, let's, let me show you against the black one. So black one really flexible and thin. Well, not thin, thin, but thin compared to this. So that's really thick stuff. So you can really throw a lot of water on that. Um, so we've got three pads of that as well. Then we've got the stone hinge um, hot pressed as well, which is nice. That's nice and smooth. I mean, there is smoother hot press than this, but compared to that, definitely smooth. So we've got three of those, and then another cold press one. Um, but this one's not as thick, but it's a bit thicker than the black one. So, is it the same texture as the heavy? Um, yeah, I would say it is. It's pretty much the same texture. So we've got three of those as well. So, as I say, these are going to be great for me with samples and things. Oui. That's what I intend to use these for because I'd put a couple of these in my basket and it worked out to be something like eight pounds. 
and then it was like 12 pounds for the whole box so i was like i might as well just get the whole box instead of just receiving like i think there was three or four different ones i put in so i've just got extras basically i just put them does it go that way or that way that way I'll keep that open for now. Then we've got some sminky. Sminky, sminky, sminky. And we have one. Oh no. Two nuggets. Okay, it's right down at the bottom. They're not. Oh, there we go. It's come out. Two nuggets in there. Um, and I got some more granulation. Um, deep sea black and a glacier black on those ones um i think it was the deep sea black that I was more interested but i just wanted to see what it was like against the glacier one as well so i'll have a play with those and probably in another video because i'm guessing this video is going to be super duper long at this point Here's the other paper. This is Jackson's own watercolour paper. Because um, I really like the acrylic block that they do. I like using for my gouache. Um, so I thought I would try the watercolour one as well. And again, I want to try the rough for the granulation plate um, paints. And this, this is a Canson one. Okay, yeah, so the Canson is definitely rougher than this one. I'm trying to flip it, but it's an actual glued block. I keep forgetting it, forgetting that. But it's rougher than the fine grain one. So it's like an in-between, these two. Um, so yeah, I think I'll have to order myself. Well, I'll see how that goes in a minute. We shall see. But these are really um, cheap compared to obviously the Canson and other things. So I think they're great for practicing and things. But I've not tried the watercolor one so I can't fully say that. But the acrylic block, 100% love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Ooh, what's in this box? It's heavy. Ah, yes. A ceramic pa palette. Because yes, I've already got one. But I seem to sort of, especially when I'm doing all these colour swatches that I'm doing for different things, I seem to sort of run out of space for things. So I thought if I order another one, I'm hoping that they're going to be able to stack on to each other. I'll just test that theory. Yeah. No, not really. I mean, they'll stand on top of each other, but not really. I thought, kind of hoping they were going to sort of... Yeah, it's that ri those ridges there that won't allow it to do. But that's okay. So, yeah, they, these are the extra items that ended up coming out of the other box. But I, with the weight of that, I can understand why the box got dented. That probably shot out and that's why. And then some of the other bits came out. But yes, a big Jackson's haul. And I can't wait to start playing with all of these and testing them out. Um, again, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see me do any particular product. Like you want me to try them out or experiment with them or you just want to see what they're like. Um, let me know and I'll do a video for you guys. Um, yes, I've got yellow paint all over my hands because I've been messing with the so flat <laughs> paints already. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And in the meantime, happy architecting.